If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. All right, welcome to another video tutorial. Today's subject is espionage. Let's send those spies on the missions, shall we? So uh, let's start with the espionage menu over here. This opens, as you can see, a head bar and a sidebar. The sidebar are the reports that you're gonna get from your spies. As you can see, I've got five spies here in Germany that is now the United Kingdom. And I've got the head bar over here. So uh, espionage headquarters, I have five spies for a daily cost of $20,000. Now, the, these $20,000, they are important because each day change, you're gonna get a new intelligence from your spies. And so at day change, you need to pay your spies. If you don't have this $20,000 at day change, those spies, they will desert. They will leave, which is too bad because a spy is very expensive. They cost 10,000 to be recruited, so you don't want to lose them. I've got zero idle spies, which is good because, well, they cost 500 per spy a day. I've got zero spies on counter espionage. Counter espionage are spies on defense missions that counter and review enemy spy activity in your territory and they cost a thousand a day. Second mission for spies is intelligence. Spies on intelligence missions gather information about the enemy's diplomatic and economical activities and those cost two thousand a day per spy. And thirdly, economical sabotage. Spies on economic sabotage missions try to damage the enemy's resource production and morale and they cost 4,000 a spy a day. And then finally, you have military sabotage. Spies on military sabotage missions try to interfere with the enemy's military plans and infrastructure, and also cost 4,000 per spy per day. All right, now, let's start with the counter espionage, right? Counter espionage is very simple. No matter where, you can put a spy in every province that you own. But what I would suggest is that you put a spy in your capital because uh, most players they're gonna try to spy you in your capital. Don't ask me why, but that's how it is. So you click on it, instant actions. You can have instant actions with gold. Mine over here are discolored because I have a gold confirmation switched on. But so for 1,950, you can get country information you can sabotage buildings, which is military sabotage for 3,950. Decrease morale, which is economical sabotage. Reveal local armies, that's only in the province and the provinces around of that province for 1,950. Disrupt economy is stealing resources, 3,950 gold. And for little less than 10,000 gold, you can reveal all the country's armies. And this is where golders get overpowered. They can just reveal all your units, no matter when they like. And of course, country information is intelligence, spies. But I'm gonna click here on the spies menu because that's what I want. You can see here, recruit. If I click on it, you can now see I have bought a spy and you see immediately idle spy over here and so now i can click this button over here and then you can see i have one counter espionage now in my capital for thousand dollars a day what players also like to do and which is also a reason to put spies in your capital in your steel which is for me the same in oil or in the rare provinces is to put spies on economical sabotage, which I will explain later, they will try to steal resources from you. And so if your resource cities are protected with spies, they can't steal your resources. Second spy mission, intelligence. As already said, they gather intelligence, but what kind of intelligence? Now, what do they reveal? One, they reveal your diplomatic stance. So spies, they can show in your report whether you have shared maps with someone or you have right of way, for example. You can learn which kind of buildings your future enemy has, what level of buildings those are, what kind of units those buildings are producing. And lastly, but very important, they can intercept enemy messages, both 
private messages and coalition messages. So you need to know that every single message that you send in Call of War can be intercepted by spies. This is invariable in the early game. So usually in the early game, you're gonna not buy spies because it's too expensive. But in the mid game, you're gonna start using spies to gather military intelligence. Because if you can intercept the enemy's messages, you know their plans. If you know what kind of buildings he has, you know his build order. If you can see what kind of units your enemy is producing, you can adapt your strategy. If you see that your enemy, for example, is producing a lot of medium tanks, what can you do? You can produce tank destroyers or you can produce attack bombers, for example. This is golden. To put spies on an intelligence mission is very simple. I can just choose whatever country I want, for example here in France, I don't know. And then I can just click here the plus button, just like before, I click the button here, I put them on intelligence. Next mission is economical sabotage. You can lower the morale from your enemy, but more interestingly, you can steal his resources. So let me go back to my core provinces. We're gonna click on my capital. If you have industry level five, like I do, you produce 12,000 steel a day. That's a lot. Now, what can you do with economical sabotage? You can steal the half of the daily production. So if one of my enemies would put spies here on economical sabotage in Tbilisi and he succeeds, he's gonna steal 6,000 steel. What? Yes, 6,000 steel. It's immense. So if you know that your enemy is making tanks, for example, he needs a lot of steel. You put a couple of economical sabotage in his steel resource provinces, you can still have his daily production. His military production of tanks is gonna be slowing down and you are going to have a lot more steel, which is very valuable. Of course, be careful. They can also steal a half of your money. I'm gonna close this over here, click here. I produce also 12,000 money, right? So they cannot only steal 6,000 steel, but they can also steal $6,000. That's a lot of money. Now I forgot to mention, if you put a spy in a province, it only works in that province. So my counter espionage here in Tbilisi, he's only working in Tbilisi. If they're gonna try to attack me with spies in Grozny, my spy is not going to do his job. All the intelligence that is being gathered, you're gonna see it here in your reports. Economical sabotage can be very powerful because today in my community game that is going on right now I have been economically sabotaged by Spain. I can see it in my spy reports. The spies were in Quebec. You can see the information that has been revealed by the spies. I caught four spies of them from an unknown nation. One among them was able to execute his mission. But now I can go to the newspaper for more information. Here in the newspaper, I can see Quebec versus Spain, spy captured, one spy on economical sabotage mission who was in Prime Minister Asirovin service has been captured in Quebec. I was not the only victim, explosion destroys production, tax revenue stolen, so there was economical sabotage everywhere. So I've captured four spies, I've captured a fifth one that revealed that it was Spain who was behind the sabotage and another four of them have been successful. A vast amount of my tax revenue and goods have been stolen and so Spain has received these resources and it's quite a lot. And then finally, last but not least, is military sabotage. With military sabotage, you can sabotage the buildings, which can be very valuable. If you see just before day change that someone is operating all his planes from an airport, you take that airport down with spies. All those planes, they transform on convoy units and you can kill the entire air force of a player. If you see he has a level three bunker somewhere, you wanna take it down, you put 10 spies in there, they're gonna completely demolish the bunker and you can kill his units for scraps. Or if you know that a player is producing nuclear bombers, you put spies in that city on military sabotage and they're gonna take down a nuclear plant. Easy, spies are amazing. But the most amazing is that if you are lucky, 
spies, they can reveal the whole army of a player. You can see over here, I'm gonna close the window, they have a reveal here on all the units of the UK. This is basically a screenshot of the position and the movement of his units at day change. I know where every single unit of his is. This is overpowered. Actually, Call of War should correct this because it's impossible for a couple of spies to review the entire plan of the enemy. Maybe parts of it, yeah, but not the entire plan. This is simply broken, but until it is there, I'm gonna use it. And so I can just grab all his units like this in the blue circle. I can see what kind of units he has. It's incredible. Not only that, but then of course on his profile, I can also see how many units he had. At day change, he had 73 units. Now, how did I get the all review? And now this is where it becomes interesting all you need to do is put five or six spies in a province where there is no resource production daily production none where there are no buildings and so if there is no resource production there are no buildings your spy can do nothing the only thing he can do is reveal armies and if you put five or six you have about 60% chance that your spies are going to be able to reveal the enemy's army entirely. This is just crazy. And now comes the difficult part. Spies can be intercepted and it can be published in the newspaper. Sometimes the enemy is not able to know which player it was. Sometimes, however, they can see who did it. So be careful because if you're caught, you can end up really at war. Now what you need to do each day, you need to move your spies to another province, right? Because if your spies were intercepted and they know they are in that province, then they can just put spies there on counter espionage and all your spies are gonna get caught, right? Seten, no buildings, no resource production. This is perfect. I can put my five spies now over here. So now even if tomorrow the UK is going to put spies here in Dusseldorf to try to intercept me, well, too bad for you because my spies now they are in setting and you can dance all over the map with your spies because the player can have easily a hundred provinces and he can't put spies on counter espionage in all his provinces impossible so it is fairly easy to reveal all armies we are the next day now in my game as you can see i've been able to reveal all the armies here of finland i can see for example that Poland is going to get attacked by the medium tank division. I also see this travel time that is here on a countdown, as you can see here on the bottom. Not only that, but I can see at what time the stack is going to arrive. So I informed Poland of this because I don't have shared maps with him. And this is where it gets interesting. If I want, I can give Poland shared intelligence. I give him shared intelligence, lets you share your view on the map and the units with additional benefit of sharing espionage information, for example, enemy units revealed by spies. So all the reveal I have, I can choose to share it with my allies. One thing to pay attention to, you need to give shared intelligence before they change because shared intelligence is basically a screenshot on day change so if you give someone shared intelligence five minutes after day change they cannot see your review and when i go to the spy tab over here you can see here today intelligence report revealed all armies previous day revealed all armies from the united kingdom so spies they work very good five spies military sabotage empty province no resource production no buildings it works perfectly so that's basically it for spies if i have to resume it one don't get caught two make sure you have enough money at day change so that your spies don't leave you and thirdly move your spies around every day so they can't get caught and that's basically it so Recruit those spies, if you can afford them, they're very valuable. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.